Welcome to the Night Club, guys. It's your host, the Night Wrencher. Just doing a little bit of maintenance on the big green truck. As you can see, it's 11 o'clock at night right now. I'm running off the generator. There seems to be some misconceptions out in the welding world, especially for beginners. Consensus seems to be that you're not able or you're not allowed to weld stainless steel with standard flux core wire. And the reason that you're not supposed to is because they're dissimilar metals you're going to provoke uh, rust very early on and uh, because the composition is a little bit different the weld strength does get a little bit compromised because of the contamination between standard flux core wire and the stainless steel uh, material so what i've actually done is these headers or this header was actually on my truck and i actually poked a hole from the leaf springs the way they were set up I had a lot of damage right here on this part right here and I even caused some damage up there so I started to go ahead and try to tack weld it and close it but the metal be had become so thin right here I wasn't actually able to get it sealed up with the welder I just kept poking more and more holes uh, it was probably thinner than a paper by the time I actually started welding it so I said you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and make a patch panel I don't have any stainless and I don't have a TIG welder and I don't have any gas for my Vulcan machine so I said you know what we're just gonna do it with flux core wire and we're just gonna see what happens so this is actually a patch this is uh, 18 gauge you guys can barely tell at a glance you won't even be able to tell that they're different materials because it's shiny right now obviously it's gonna rust obviously it's going to uh, be a problem in the future but for right now and especially just to close this up I decided to go ahead and use this as a test but it definitely turned out really well it welds decent uh, the weld does tend to spatter as you're trying to weld across it makes it really messy it's a little bit more harder to control and it seems to be a little bit harder to get flowing but once it flows it just immediately starts to melt so it's a little bit more difficult especially for a beginner trying to weld on stainless especially with this flux core machine while i was here i went ahead and i modified the header even more and i actually cut it at the flanges and i went ahead and bent the flange inward so the header should actually hug the block a lot more and then what i also did and i cut a couple grooves on the collector so i can get it to bend away from the leaf spring so i won't have any more problems and i just ended up cutting it right through here it's important to know why you would actually want to do something like this and this is a very good example so as you can see right here i've actually got plenty of space between the headers after i've already smashed them but believe it or not before i made the necessary adjustments to the headers i actually had a big big problem with interference between the frame and the exhaust header so the solution was to buy a brand new set of headers but because this is a budget build we don't got money for that kind of stuff so jumping down here i'm putting the exhaust bass together but you guys can see what i'm trying to do here and because i cut it i slid it and i turned it i'm able to get away from the actual spring hanger when before i was smashed up right into it and that caused a huge hole so as you guys can see i've been driving on it here for probably over a week now at this point and I've had no signs of rust or any kind of severe damage. The welds look absolutely terrible, but for the job that it needs to do, it's working perfectly fine. So I don't actually recommend you do this with anything you plan to show off, anything that people will actually see, or anything you want to keep for a really long time. This is a temporary set of headers while I decide what I'm going to do next. And I kind of needed to do this right now because it is in the way and I need to do a couple other things of maintenance. So definitely don't do this for a customer, don't do this for a show car, but in a pinch or in a budget build or something you need to take care of right away, this is actually a pretty good uh, deal. You're gonna get a little bit of porosity, you're gonna have to be more careful, you're, you're gonna have to go really, really slow, but if you can get all that, you'll have a decent product and it'll perform well enough, at least until you can get yourself a better welder. So that's all for today. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher, out.